Hello everybody, I am Super Mario Sonic Lover, and welcome already to Let's Play Sonic Mania. Yes, this game just came out today, and I'm wasting no time to get to this. Now, I will say right off the bat, I have seen uh, a few things about this game. Um, I I have seen a full, a full uh, zone list, so unfortunately... Unfortunately, I already know the uh, zones are coming back and all that. Um, I just can I don't know. Sometimes I'm weak when it comes to spoilers. I just get given. Um, I've seen a few cutscenes as well, but most of the, I have I, most of this is bl completely blind. Um, I may know what zones are coming back, but I don't know. A lot of uh, what's in them so this is still gonna be mostly a surprise and it's good and it's good to be back like it's good to have a classic Sonic game like this again and I was actually think not fit uh, I was thinking about not doing a blind LP of this because I kind of what part of me wanted to play the game for myself but hey I decided to just cave in. So yeah, that was clearly Angel Island. I don't think there's an Angel Island zone, but yeah, apparently there was some kind of time stone type thing on the. So let's see, uh, Drop Dash is like... Yeah, Drop Dash is basically... You were... Uh, Jump and uh, hold hold the button down, and then as soon as you land, you start boost. You just dash forward with a spin, which is pretty cool. Um, I've heard that it's not very. It's mainly useful for speed runs, so I'm probably not going to be using it that much. But it's still a pretty cool addition. But yeah, basically, uh, this is a just a return to form. Um, the yeah, the bonus stages are back um, from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but this time they're the they hold the special stages from Sonic uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So we have Blue Spheres now, um, but these aren't the special stages. Um, they are still get uh, you still find them by finding like secret special rings like in Sonic 3, and they are completely new. There's no half pipes again, none of that stuff. So you know. I, I do like how they they made a new one. They made a new special stage, but also brought back the special stage that a lot, a lot of people been, have been asking for for quite a few years now, which are the blue spheres, and relegated them to optional bonus stages. So, I think that was a good compromise. But, um, yeah, just look how smooth this is. <laughs> like, um, like, they've talked about how this game is uh, designed to feel like a game that was made for a Sonic game that was made for the Sega Saturn and it really does show like the uh, especially from what I've seen in the special stages um, the models that like look right out of the Sega Saturn and it looks really good like Sonic's model here I want to say is a a opt a uh, better version of his um, Sonic 1 model looks a lot a lot it looks a bit cleaned up and I think that's pretty cool it's probably out of the classics it's probably my favorite design now because um, it keeps in the it has the it shows like the attitude part of Sonic and um, it just flows really well like animations are really solid and you know you can't go wrong with this design really it's it's um complex. It's complex enough to uh, be appealing to the eyes, while not being too over the top, where there's too much going on. Which some people argue was the case with Sonic Freeze design. I don't particularly agree with it, but I can understand why you'd think that way. But yeah, even though we're playing in Sonic a Sonic One stage. 
we also we still have um, like elemental shields from Sonic 3. Like they bring like, bring in like the best of the best of both worlds in this, or be best of all worlds, I guess, with this game, where they bring in a lot of elements from all all the classic games. Like you have the verticality or stages. Like these, from what I've seen, these stages are massive. Like Sonic CD were, like they were real. Those stages were really vertical based. So there's like a lot of pathways and like the the stages were really big in CD. Is the point? But I think there's more of a restraint here. Um, like it feels like, um, well, mind you, I'm I'm basing this off of very limited limited knowledge of the stages, but. From what I've seen, it seems like there's more. It's more obvious of where you need to go in this game, and um, and it feels a lot more fun to explore. I I like CD, but I feel it felt like the levels are too like too big with not enough um, not enough. Um, what was it? It it didn't feel like the level design was as focused as the. Uh, regular the normal trilogy so you know but I, I think they did it I f again from what I've seen I we'll, we'll see how my opinion changes as we go through here but um, from what I've seen it seems to they seem to have a better grasp on grasp on how um, level design should be in this game without being too overwhelming but yeah this is the first special stage it's basically a mix of Sonic um, Sonic 3 with the blue spheres and all that, Sonic Heroes, and I kind of see a bit of Knuckles Chaotix, mainly on how it's how it looks, but yeah, it seems pretty cool. Just get the get the spheres to go faster, get the max up, and uh, rings make it so you have more time, and you just got kind of chase down a UFO. I'm not doing the best here, but. Hey, I'm 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 happy that we have a new special stage that isn't like Sonic Lost World 3DS because that was new for a com for the completely wrong reasons. All right, we're almost there. Okay, just gonna go just a little bit behind it and then. You just spin dash into it. But nice, we got a first emerald. I'm wondering how well I'm gonna be doing with this because this is a new game, so the emerald locations are gonna be um, not so not well known, really, because you know it just came out. So you can't expect people to know where like all the locations are. So I'm interested, like when this game is a uh, like a month old or so. I'm interested to, interested to see like how many blue how many special stage rings there are and like how hidden they they're gonna be because some of the ones in Sonic 3 and Knuckles are ridiculously well hidden. So yeah, I'm I'm just happy that they brought they um brought those the uh, special stage rings back because um I wasn't I um. Oh, okay, I, I won't say I'm not a fan. Like I, I'm okay with the fact that you had to get 50 rings and find a and find a checkpoint or the or go to the end of the stage, um, and all that. That's fine, but I, I find it a lot more enjoyable to like explore the environment and be and be rewarded with it with a special stage ring. And you, I don't have to worry about like getting enough rings to go into it. Like again, they. They've done the best of both worlds. Like, is you, is you like the 50 rings thing, or like I, I had I had less than 50 rings the first time I still got into this, but regard, <coughs> excuse me. Regardless though, um, you still need rings to get into these stages, so I think that's a nice little compromise. Do 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 do. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how um, the new special stages for me rack up to the uh, other gate, other other special stages I played. 
in the series, but... The one I did play, that was... I... It did feel pretty good, like, it... it flowed pretty well, and, um... It seems like I can get the, get the hang of it pretty quickly. And another thing I'm very glad they brought back is that there's Act 1 bosses now, again. Because in Sonic Sonic 4, there was only, uh, like, act, there was only, like, not even Act 2 bosses, there was just a boss act. And, yeah. This is basically what Sonic 4 should have been. Like, everyone said it, but it's true. Like, they brought back everything I was expecting to be in Sonic 4, really. Like, I would have I would have liked more original zones, like maybe two more, two more than just having four new zones, but I'm hoping that the, the success of this game um, gives room for a Sonic Mania 2 where it is a full new game or something like that. But with, within saying that, like all the stuff I've seen of like the new or the old zones, it's it's old but new at the same time. Like, uh, well, Green Hill Act, Green Hill alone, like they with the first act, they uh, kind of mix in um, all the all the regular acts in Sonic One together. And then Act 2 is basically its own thing, and I do really like that. And don't ex- I I'll just say this right now, um, since this is a blind playthrough, don't expect me to know where every- everything is, or where, uh, obstacles are. So if I fail sometimes, um, don't be surprised, because this is all new to me. Because I- I- I've seen, again, I've seen a little bit of this game. I know what zones to expect, but I haven't s really seen them. So, you know. I just look, hear that funky music. But yeah, T, T Lopes, the, um, the composer for this game, from what I've heard, done a pretty good job. And also, the background is based on um, a beta version of Green Hill Zone, so I, I kind of like that, they're just kind of putting in, putting in the trivia for all those Sonic nerds and all that. <laughs> Alright, I can get up there, I know. There we go. But yeah, I can see myself playing this game over and over again, because just seeing how robust and open these stages are, it's gonna... It's gonna give me a lot of, um, a lot of time to just explore around and try and find as many goodies as possible. Now, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be playing this game with Tails or Knuckles as well, in terms of L for the LP. Um, cause I, I do, I do want to eventually sit down and play this game just by myself and relax. Um, so, it, it depends on how different it, they are. Like, if it's if it's like playing a new story, like Sonic 3, then I'll consider it, but uh, at the moment I'm not really sure. We'll see. But yeah, this is very familiar, like, uh, this blue sphere, because I remember going through the two blue ones, then go to then go to another one, then you go to a, a giant square of blue spheres. This is very familiar. I can't get over how clean this looks, man. But yeah, I might actually... Contrary, like... You know, I, I usually, um... Upload... Okay, okay. I was trying to anticipate when I was when the last one was gonna appear. I always... I always forget. Oh, I I just noticed that they have 25th anniversary on the on the back side of the coin. That's cool. But um, yeah.
Oh nice, found another one. <laughs> but yeah, they do... Apparently the, uh, the medals actually do give you stuff, so... I don't know where, if it's gonna, like, tell me, but... Alright. But yeah, I'm probably gonna be, um... Uploading these... Crap. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be uploading these play this uh, playthrough a lot quicker than I usually do with uh, LPs, because uh, I don't want this to... to drag on too long and I have a bunch of other LPs I need to get get done so I'm gonna probably be uploading two videos of this I, I, mm, I'll, I'll probably I'll probably upload this to to upload two parts of this a day or upload it twice to every Tuesdays and Thursdays not sure but I, I do want this to go I do want this to uh be qu a quick playthrough, so. But yeah, I am actually using the D-pad for this these special stages because it, it's actually a uh, a lot more reliable than using the stick because, like, if you don't know, oh, if you don't know how uh, the controls work in Blue Spheres, you can turn every basically every time you uh, go onto a square. So like. Okay, so I s basically I when I move to the when I turn right or left or something, um, Sonic will turn as soon as he e enters the next square. Basically, I don't know if I'm making any sense by saying that, but you know that's the bit that's the best way I can describe it. Um, and also when you bounce into a bumper, you're Constantly going backwards, so you have to push forward. And I cannot find these spheres for the life of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely a new, a new, uh, a new special stage. Right. I can't wait to see how speedrunners break this game, because it's like. See, like Dark Spy and Sonic and all that. He does crazy stuff with with the uh, Sonic speed rungs. And to think, we've only been in in one zone. <laughs> oh, nice! Having fun, that tells. Also, the, uh, weird... Well, okay, the, uh, backgrounds are actually, um... Okay, I, I need to be more careful. The backgrounds, um, are like, uh, the stuff from, like, Sonic 1 and all that, but it looks a lot more... Um, laid back. I, I don't know, like, it looks a lot less messy, I guess you could say. Also... Death Egg Robot in the first uh, in the first zone. It's like, yeah, screw like having my most powerful machine in the finale. Let's just bring it in the first zone. Also, the hell? Did it look like Tails just like burrowed, like just destroyed the wall? But um, the um, the little Eggman bomb. Uh, oh, I, I might, might as well say Robotnik in this game, in this game's case, but the uh, little Robotnik bomb is not actually new. Um, in the in de in the Death Egg Robot fight in Sonic 2, if you went behind the Death Egg Robot, he would Robotnik would actually sometimes shoot out these little these little uh, uh, bots, uh, bomb bots, I guess you could say or whatever. Now there's no real like, it's a lot harder to attack. Okay, how do I actually do this? Um, it's a lot harder to 
uh, hit him from behind, for at least for me, so I never actually do that, so... If I recall correctly, we never saw the, the, uh, bombs in, in, um, in Sonic 2. Okay, I, 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 I need to do that, but, because I, I honestly thought something was gonna ha like, he was gonna stop or something so I could hit him. So I actually gotta use momentum to my advantage. I mean, I can also use the arms, but... He's, he didn't seem to want to do it. He, he seemed to be focusing more on the, um, robe, the, uh, the bombs. Yeah, like that. I guess I just have to be closer. Yeah, I see. No, I, I get it now. Again, this is, I'm, this is a blind playthrough, so don't expect, like, god tier gameplay. I'm as new to this as you are. And he's done. Uh, at least for now. Okay, Tails, you get the credit. Oh, I, li I like that little animation Tails did. That was cool. That was very fluid. Oh. Now it's not a death pit. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, right, right. I've seen this scene. So yeah, basically... Robotnik uses a time stone, or whatever you, whatever the, uh, you want to say that thing is that he found in Angel Island, and he's just... I guess... <laughs> I guess he's just kind of... Um, going like, okay, let's send Sonic and Tails to the past and... All, to all these places again, I guess. 